Socks are like sex. Tongues bit about, and I never seem to get any. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am in a different filming location right now, and that's because I've moved. I haven't moved house, I've moved rooms. So the room that I was living in previously, I am no longer living in because a bigger room became available and I moved into a bigger room. So yeah, welcome to my new filming space. Anyway, today I'm gonna be reacting to Black Adder the Third. First episode of Black Adder the Third. I've watched the second series of Black Adder already and it's hilarious and I love it so much that I wanted to watch the next series. I haven't watched series one yet. I'm gonna do that at the end. I'm gonna watch Black Adder the Third, Black Adder goes forth. I'm gonna watch the third season, the fourth season, and then I'm gonna go back to the first season. So I'm gonna watch all of Black Adder, but I'm gonna continue with the third series and then we'll loop back to the first series when I'm finished the fourth series, if that makes sense. Anyway, just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll post the link to my Patreon down below. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Michael, Mitch, Brian, James, Daniel, John, Reese, Kane, Thomas, Robson, James A, Andy, Desi, Hypno, Bob, Chris, Robin, Gary, Paul, Lugo, Bryos B, Carl, and Alan. Well, Mrs. May it was way more renaissance-y feeling. This is the renaissance, right? I feel like we've skipped forward in time a bit to the renaissance. Yeah, that sounded like renaissance music. At last we can return to sanity. The hustings are over, the bunting is down, the mad hysteria is at an end. After the chaos of a general election, we can return to normal. Well, has there been a general election then, Mr. Blackadder? <laughs> Indeed there has, Mr. Miggins. Oh, well, I never heard about it. Well, of course you didn't. You're not eligible to vote. Well, why not? Because virtually no one is. Women, peasants, chimpanzees, <laughs> <laughs> lunatics, lords. That's not true. Lord Nelson's got a vote. He's got a boat, boring. <laughs> Mark, Mr. Speaker, Members of the House, I shall be brief, as I have, rather unfortunately, become Prime Minister right in the middle of my exams. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to fulfilling my duty in a manner which Nanny would be proud. <laughs> I How did one become Prime Minister back then? It, surely it wasn't hereditary, like it wasn't the way kings are made king, you know, because there were children kings in history. I don't know. Am I overanalyzing too much? I often get criticisms like that a lot. Like, oh, Megan, you're overly analyzing. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm sorry. Yes, I know, Black Adder. I've been pondering it all morning. <laughs> you have, sir? Yes. Socks. One out again. <laughs> Why is it that no matter how many millions of pairs of socks I buy, I never seem to have any? Sir, with your forgiveness, there is another even weightier problem. <laughs> I have the same problem. I'm always losing socks. I don't know why. Why? Like, I spend so much money on socks so that I just lose them all. And I don't know where they go. It's like my washing machine eats them up or something. It's crazy. Anybody else have a problem keeping socks? Huh? <laughs> Disappear. <laughs> Honestly, you'd think someone was coming in here, stealing the damn things, and then selling them off. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible, sir. Only you and I have access to your socks. Yes, yes, you're right still. For me, socks are like sex. Tongues bit about, and I never seem to get any. <laughs> I may return to this very urgent matter. I read. Well, good on you, sir. And don't talk to me about infirmity. Why, sir, you are the hardy stock that is the core of Britain's greatness. You have the physique of a demigod. Purple of cheek and plump of fetlock, the shapely ankle and the well-filled trouser that tells of a human body in perfect working order. He's dead, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, what bad luck. We were rather getting on. We must move at once. <laughs> in which direction? Sir Talbot represented the constituency of Dunny on the World. And by an extraordinary stroke of luck, it is a rotten borough. Really? Is it? Well, lucky, lucky us. <laughs> lucky, lucky, luck. Luck, 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 luck. Is, do you, sir? <laughs> no. So what was the chicken impression in Adolf? Well, I'm just 
just didn't want to hurt your feelings. Um, so, what is a robber button? A rotten borough. <laughs> a rotten borough, sir, is a constituency where the owner of the land corruptly controls both the voters and the MP. Good. Yes. And a robber button is... Could we leave that? <laughs> Down the other world. I've noticed that Rowan Atkinson's Black Adder is virtually the same as the second series. It hasn't really changed much. The only difference is the time period and some of the characters but yeah it's just funny how he's like the straight edge character and everyone else is just nuts <laughs> i love it what we need is an utter unknown yet someone over whom we have complete power a man <laughs> with no mind with no ideas of his own one might almost say a man with no brain <laughs> any thoughts yes your highness <laughs> <laughs> Meet the new member of parliament for Danny on the Road. <laughs> he's an absolute arse head. <laughs> Precisely, sir. Our slogan shall be a rotten candidate for a rotten borough. <laughs> Warwick, I want you to go back to your kitchen sink, you see? And prepare for government. <laughs> I love how Baldrick is the same, too. Like, Baldrick doesn't change. He's still a peasant. There's some similarities. Like, I think that just, it, it links the, the seasons together. You know, it links Blackadder 2 and Blackadder 3 together. Just like the minor similarities there. I love it. What would you do if I gave you a million pounds? Oh, that's different. I'd get a great big turnip in the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'll get that. Here. Sign here. <laughs> Pitch the younger. Why? Hello there, young shaver me lad. I say, here's fun. I have a shiny sixpence here for the clever fellow who can tell me which hand it's in. Huh? Oh, school, school. On well, half holes, is it? Yeah. As a reward, Baldrick, take a short holiday. Did you enjoy it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Members, please cast their votes, aye or nay, for the striking of the Prince Regent off the civil list. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Hello, chubby. You're a new bug. Yeah, I don't know anyone here, and I support the Prince, and I don't know how to vote. Well, you can soon change all of that, can't we? Come along with me. Oh, thanks. You lost the vote. Your monkey obligingly voted for us. <laughs> no. God, no. <laughs> if you want something done properly, kill Baldrick before you start. <laughs> You've beaten Oik, and you and your disgusting master have 24 hours to get out. 24 hours is a long time in politics. Good day. There is just one thing before I go. I've got this sort of downy hair developing on my chest. Is that normal? Also, I get so lonely and confused. I've written a poem about it. Maybe you'll understand. Imagine being the leader of a country while going through puberty. Like, I just can't imagine anything worse. Like, all your hormones, all these hormones rushing through your body, all these things happening and your body changing and all that. And then you have to lead an entire country. Like, I just... That's why they don't usually have teenagers leading countries. Anymore. At least. <laughs> why the nice girls hate me? Why? Oh, get out, you nauseating adolescent. <laughs> this... My lords. My lords. I'm sorry, sir? My lords. There is more than one lord in the vicinity. Oh, well, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Will you please welcome His Grace, the Lord Baldrick. <laughs> oh, no! Baldrick, a lord. <coughs> oh, yes. One who has recently done sterling work matching the political machinations of the evil pit. Good old Lord Baldrick. It's all right, Blackadder. You don't have to curtsy or anything. <laughs> Sir, might I let loose a short, violent exclamation? Oh, why, certainly. Damn! <laughs> That's a bit of a strange get-up you've got there in the background. Yes, I'm just off to a fancy dress party. I'm going oh, as no. Lady Hamilton's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
one question, sir. About the 400,000 to influence the Lords. Oh, yes. I gave that to Lord Baldry. Oh. <laughs> sir, might I be permitted to take Lord Baldry downstairs to give him some instruction in his lordly duties? I think that's a splendid idea. This way, my lord. <laughs> 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 Give me the bloody money, Baldrick, or you're dead, my lord. <laughs> Just do it, Baldrick. Otherwise, I shall further ennoble you by knighting you rather clumsily with this meat cleaver. <laughs> I've got it. What? I spent it. You spent it? What could you possibly spend £400,000 on? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, God, don't tell me. My dream turnip. Oh, Only, God. How did you manage to find a turnip that cost £400,000? Well, I had to haggle. <laughs> this is the worst moment of my entire life. I spent my last penny on a catskin wind cheater. <laughs> I've just broken a priceless turnip. And now I'm about to be viciously slaughtered by a naked Tunisian sock merchant. <laughs> well, all I can say, Boric, is this. It's the last time I double in politics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. With the benefit of several viewers, Mr. Curtis and Mr. Elton's much admired Black Outer Comedy the Third. Or dish and dish honesty was performed with the appropriate scenery, just etc. by Edmund Blackadder Butler. Went to the Prince Mr. Rodrigo. Oh, that's it. I like the song. It's very groovy. It's very like I don't know. I like it. Very different style to the second series ending credits song. Oh my god, that was so funny. I enjoyed that. Oh, Blackadder is just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Rowan Atkinson is brilliant. So funny. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>